Here are four charges, two positive and two negative, in a square configuration, and we're going to draw the electric field. Now remember that near each charge, the electric field lines point radially outwards, that is straight outwards in all directions. Remember that the blue are the negative, the red are the positive, because I've covered up the plus and minus signs. Field lines emanate out from positive, end up on negative. Out from positive, end up on negative. And then a little bit trickier is what happens in the middle. Now here these are going to go like this probably. I should be putting arrowheads on these inwards towards the negative. And what's very tricky is what's happening in the very center here. So we have this electric field line coming out of this positive charge. And is it going to curve towards the uh, negative charge in the lower left or the upper right? And the answer is since it's symmetrical, why would it go one way or the other? So in fact, it's going to go right down the middle like that. And just like the previous example where we only had two positive charges next to each other, these electric field lines in the very center, the strength of the electric field is zero. And by the same token, we'll have this crossing electric field line of zero strength in the very center. But say an electric field line coming out right here, just next to it, right next to this diagonal, would end up on this negative charge. One coming out right here would go like that. One coming out just next to that diagonal would end up on this one, and this one would end up like that. And that completes our drawing, and here is my crude sketch overlaid on the computer's plot of the electric field vectors and their directions. And you can see that we are matching pretty well. A couple simple rules allow you to basically reproduce the computer's calculations of the electric field surrounding these charges.